Hello people. Right, this video is going to be about Webflow and how it can make you rich. How utilizing the software to build web websites for small to large companies is going to be bringing you in um, anything from four grand upwards uh, a month. And I'm going to talk about the different stages of how much you can earn. Uh, my personal experience with Webflow, why I transitioned into web design as a creative and then I will show you a bonus uh, little thing at the end of how much you can calculate each project is going to cost when you're dealing with a client, which is pretty damn cool. So basically, uh, the reason I got into Webflow was because I was a brand identity designer and people don't seem to want to uh, pay a lot for logos, even though brand identities are the core fundamental for a business. So I was really trying to make ends meet. I was doing logos for sometimes 100 pounds up to 500 pounds. It was very hard to do brand identities for anything above 1,000 pounds. And if you're a designer, you'll know logos and brand identities can take upwards of seven days, even longer to create. Uh, so the value of a logo just isn't in the minds of a company. But then I realized that people were asking me to do website design and I had used a platform called Wix before. Now Wix is a uh, similar to Webflow, but completely different and I'll explain why. But this gave me the capability to build very, very low basic websites and I was offering these at about a thousand pounds and at that stage I was like, wow, this is, this is great. I'm able to not only build the brand, got a little 500 pound there, then build a website 1500 pounds. So that really pursued me down the avenue of learning more about uh, website design. The only problem was Wix is terrible for, uh, now I know, uh, best practices on the internet and responsiveness. And if you really want to get them high paying clients, and I'm saying 10,000 pounds to 20,000 pounds, you need to be uh, making sure that your website is accessible. And this is where Webflow comes in. So I decided that I'm going to go full down the no code website uh, route because the money was there. I just needed to find the software. And that's when Webflow came to my attention. I saw a lot of other designers using it, but the difference was is that you could utilize CSS and JavaScript, which is coding knowledge within it. And I was seeing a lot of developers actually saying that this, this software is very good compared to all of the other no code platforms. So started learning it and I think within four years, I, I went from 500 to 1,000 uh, pounds websites all the way up to 10,000 pounds. So my first uh, 4,000 pound website was after two years of using the software and I can only just see this going up and up and up because you can add on so many different services once you start learning this software. So that's one of the key benefits with Webflow is that you can offer top level websites, highly responsive, highly interactive, but the key thing is, is that it has a designer mind first. So if you're a logo designer and you're like, no, I know nothing about um, coding and whatnot, don't worry, this platform is literally a visual builder, but it is a visual builder in the sense that it um, produces clean code. And this software will actually teach you along the way. I, n I, never, I was never interested in learning CSS, but now I can actually write it, I can understand it because Webflow was so intuitive um, for me to design something visual and then it showed me the code for it. You just end up picking it up along the way. And um, it's just a brilliant software because when I started offering Webflow services, now my entire business is based around websites, I can also package up brand identities. And now my brand identities are worth more money because clients obviously think, oh, this guy has the expertise to do websites, so his brands must be high level as well. So it's almost like being able to do development work gives you a level of respect with the clients and it allows you to reach them top tier clients that you know we all want the ones that aren't going to be like oh but can we uh, cut 50 pound here 50 pound there the ones that just throw the money in and they're like do a great job we don't care about how much it costs just do it so that was amazing to learn whilst using webflow 
the other thing that you can use Webflow for is you can transition into SEO. So website design and SEO um, go hand in hand. Basically that's search engine optimization and clients will pay anywhere between 1,000 to 4,000 for small businesses up to 10,000 pound a month. And these campaigns will run for 12 months at a time. So the possibility for passive and recurring income is also there. Um, you're gonna be, you could be designing multiple websites at the same time and say your, your average website is about 8,000 pounds and a website can take what a month to three months you can build three websites at the same time so that's eight sixteen uh twenty four thousand pounds within three months and i'm telling you with this platform you can build websites quick and clean and that is more than doable because i've done it myself so the the ability to scale within this platform is crazy even to the point where i'm actually looking into building a agency where i take on other webflow developers now, because you end, you end up being an expert within Webflow, at some point you're gonna be taking on too many clients and that's when this is great. You end up by, uh, getting a, another designer. All you need to do is teach them your process. You can get them from Upwork and then there you go. You can up your free projects that you're making for 24 grand uh, every three months up to six um, and then be making nearly 100,000 pounds every three months. So like I said, the scalability is there. Uh, there's also another avenue, uh, the design uh, assets for Webflow. It's a huge community. A lot of people don't actually build the websites from scratch. They'll use templates, which I don't like doing. I like building from scratch. But the capability of if you become good at it, you can create your templates and sell these to designers. And these go from anywhere from £100 up to £500. And obviously, once you build it, put it on the... Uh, Webflow uh, website, you'll just be getting passive income as it comes along. So yeah, Webflow has given me the ability to work anywhere in the world and because its name is ringing bells at the moment and people are getting sick of WordPress and um, developers that are making buggy websites, Webflow is, is easy to get jobs at the moment. Even to the point where I'd say it's too easy. There's a lot of websites I'm fixing because people will just hire somebody that is called a Webflow developer that doesn't know, obviously, the industry best practices. So, I mean, if you're, if you're jumping into this, it would be quite easy to get your first job, but obviously your first few websites aren't gonna be uh, using the best practices. But this is the great thing about Webflow, even if you're you're developing very badly within the, the system. It's going to try pull together the best code. So when you do uh, package up the website and give it to your client, uh, it's going to be it's going to be working. Because <laughs> I tell you what, my first couple projects definitely weren't the best. Um, but uh, looking back on them four years later, I'm able to go in update these. And to be honest, Webflow done a great job of fixing all my errors. Now, that is my story. That's a couple of benefits of Webflow. And just to summarize, yes, it is possible to be earning 10 grand per month using this software. It depends how much you want to scale, how much work you want to do, and how many clients you want to get. Um, I'm going to show you this really cool application that uh, this cash or flow team actually made. And this is gonna actually show you that I'm not talking crap. You can make what I just said. So this is gonna calculate how much a Webflow project costs based on the different, um, the different aspects of your brief. Now, obviously, if you're new to this, you're not gonna know how to brief a project and there will be videos on this, but I'll walk you through this. This will give you a good idea. So how long have you been doing Webflow for? Say you're a beginner, let's say one to 12 months. What's your hourly rate? Uh, mine at the moment is minimum 65 pounds, but you you can be whatever you want. Let's say I started out at 45 pound an hour, which is a, a good rate. So let's go next. Then you pick your complexity of the design. Let's say that you're starting off as a middling, so you've got a nice little design because you are a designer. And let's say the average website has about five pages, a contact page, home page, uh, your privacy policies and everything like that. And let's say it's got a blog that they're gonna have a CMS template page. Um, and let's say that they're gonna have a 
Um, a service page. Basically what this template page, uh, page layout means is these are pages that within the content management system, which again, if you don't know, don't worry, this will be explained. The pages basically duplicate out and the clients themselves can edit. Now interactions, again, a very cool aspect of Webflow, very easy to build within the uh, website. I'd say the complex animations took me until the later years, but let's say you um, know how to do some basic level animations, let's say medium. Now, this is where the CMS comes into play. These are pages, like I said, that the client can edit themselves. So they're gonna have a blog. And let's just leave it as that. Oh, actually, let's add team members on like the home page so they can add their team members in and get rid of them. Now, with the integrations, this is what I was talking about in terms of SEO. You're probably not going to be using any of these. Maybe Calendly, maybe the client asks you to uh, put in a app that allows clients to book with them. So let's click that. Let's go next. Now, this is, this is a good aspect of Webflow is you get to pick and choose what clients you want. So when it goes, how interesting is this project? Sometimes you will actually price it lower because you really want this project because it's really cool. So, um, or it might be you're gonna absolutely hate it, so you price it even higher uh, so that you, you don't wanna do it, but if the price is that good, you're gonna do it anyway. Let's just leave that in the middle. Same with how important is this client to you. Some clients you might actually put a price down just because you know that they're gonna give more money in the future. But let's just say that you're, you're in the middle of them as well. Now, your profit take home. So this is the rate that you're gonna add on top. This is a, a very good design principle to do. So let's just add this 20% on top of everything. And then, uh, I don't actually know what efficiency fee is. Oh, efficiency fee. So this is, uh, so I've had clients before that have said, oh, I need it done within a week. So yes, uh, this website normally takes me a month, but I can do it in a week for you. It's gonna cost an extra 5%. We'll just leave this blank because uh, when you're starting out, you don't really wanna be pushing uh, your work rate too uh, far. So what's your tax rate? Obviously, if we're in England, we're 20%. And then you always want to take a down payment of 50%. Again, I'll do a video later about this. So uh, let's just say you're working on one project and you can commit 25 hours a week. And let's just leave the deadline buffer and let's customize, calculate a website. So based on that information, it's gonna say four weeks and I would actually agree with that. And it's given $5.9,000, which is I think roughly about 4,000 pounds, which is actually the exact amount I asked for a minimum of a website for a basic website and that's what I put in. This is why I love this calculator because it really does uh, pinpoint the exact amount you should be charging the client. Uh, and a lot of people have been saying that this this is on point with their pricing uh, their pricing packages as well. So obviously you can have a play around with this. You can understand, like I'm not lying, this is what a lot of people are saying. You can, within four weeks, you can earn four grand. And that was just for a basic website. If you've done two websites at the same time, that's eight grand. If you've done two complicated websites, that's 20 grand in four weeks. So there you go. It's, it can be scaled, it can be analyzed, and the proof is in the pudding. Um, you can make good money with Webflow. So there you go. If you want to learn more about how to get started with Webflow, you can check out this video here and it is going to be the absolute beginners to setting up your uh, Webflow account.